Hi, it's Mimi live in my kitchen and it's Thursday and I'm really glad to see you again or at least you can see me again. I can really see you out there. Um, this morning on my walk I was thinking about gratitude and when I was a little girl my mom used to say eat everything on your plate because there's children starving all over the world and I used to think to myself well how how is me eating everything on my plate going to feed the children? Now I get it. Now I get it. What she really meant was be grateful that you have that on your plate and finish everything. We're so used to turning on the water and having beautiful food and turning on the lights and having electricity and we forget to remember how many people in the world don't have that. And so when little things bother you, you've got to pick your priorities and know they're just small things that will pass and just look at the gratitude. You know, we have running water, we have beautiful food all the time, most of us, and anyone who can see this video obviously has electricity and a computer or a TV or something that you can see this. So I just wanted to say that today is to be grateful and uh, I am and I'm really grateful for all of you and for all of you who have bought my book, my wonderful book. I'm so excited and all the great things you've posted, uh, recipes you've fixed and everything. So this giant book it's been sent to a lot of people already and and this wonderful necklace that I wear every day. I even bathe with it. I love this thing. I don't take it off. And um, so I'm very happy. Today I'm going to fix something that Mike loves and it's not in my book. So I thought I'd fix that for you today. But here's something that is in my book that he loves and it's a breakfast. That's what I'm talking about today. I'm going to fix this breakfast. Here is the actual granola cereal. This just takes a little bit of preparing only because you have to soak everything. And Mike snacks on this just like little candies and he also eats it as a cereal with milk in it. And it's on page um, 92 uh, recipes and some blueberry pancakes that are really delicious. And here's this beautiful photo to the courtesy of Mike's photography. And uh, this is a great, great breakfast. But I'm going to show you now a very instant breakfast. And, um, and this is a great breakfast because you could fix this if you haven't done all of this dehydration and this work to get here. So here we go. Make this very simple for you. I used uh, a cup, and this is for two people, but you can really feed three with it. I have a cup of almonds here that I pulsed in the uh, food processor. You can use any nut. You can mix it. Some pieces are big, whole, chunky pieces. Others are ground up. That's how you want it to look, kind of a combination of both. So that's a cup in here. When it's ground up, it looks like a lot, but that's just a cup. And um, you could use Brazil nuts and anything you like. So you're going to put that in your bowl. And then you can chop up. You can see there's quite a few larger pieces in here, which are really nice. Um, then you want to put in some dates. I use six dates and I chop these up in the food processor. You can actually do it all together, but I find that I like the nuts a certain way, so I'm a little more fussy about how that's done. Now I'm going to put the dates in, and they're all sticky and wonderful, and I'm going to just kind of mix it in together. Like I say, you can do this all in the food processor, and um, some people like to use their hands, and maybe if you're cooking for your own family, you use your hands. I usually don't like to mish my hands in food when people are watching that aren't in my family and going to eat it, like all of you. You don't mind, even though my hands are clean. Okay, so that's that. And then I'm going to put, I have one apple here. This was shredded in my food uh, processor with this, um, this tool. And by the way, all the stuff I use you can find on my website, youngonrawfood.com. I put a little shop up, shop up. It's an Amazon shop that you can buy right there. It's just to help you to find everything. Okay, so for the apples, I'm going to squeeze a, a little lemon on it because apples turn black. You want to prevent that. So I'm going to just squeeze a little lemon juice. I have just a little tea strainer here I use. And then you're going to put those in here. And um, then mix it up. I, I like to mix after each thing so everything gets uh, kind of homogenized in here. And you have to still work on those dates to break them up. The more stuff you put in here, the more it breaks up. So you'll see it starts to mix all together very nicely. Then I use one of my favorite things, good for the inside and the outside, coconut oil. I love this brand. This is They have many brands, but I've been using this for a long time on my face, on my arms, and, well, everywhere. <laughs> and I cook with it. I use it for a lot of things. So we're going to put this in here, and we want to chop that up too. So the only, the only thing in here is it's very fast, seriously. This is like one quick breakfast. Your company comes over, you can make them a gourmet breakfast in like minutes. 
uh, your fa everybody in your family will love this. It's really a great breakfast. Now it's starting to get very mixed up. And I really want to make sure that all the coconut oil gets in everything because that's part of the yummy taste in all this. And speaking of coconut, I also want to put this I'm going to put on myself later. I'm going to smear it all over me. Okay, not in front of you though. And now we're going to put some big flake coconuts in. These aren't the little, little shredded ones. And I think I have these on my site too, but see, they're larger pieces. We're going to put some of those in, half a cup. You, you go to taste. Mike happens to love coconut, so any kind of coconut. So again, we're going to mash this up a little bit. Get all that going. Mmm, this is so good. Now I've got a mixture of raisins and uh, dried cranberries, and you're going to put about a half a cup in. Again, you can do this to your liking. And that's about it. So this makes a delicious cereal, a little cinnamon. Now, I don't use any more sweetener, but if you taste it, apples and all the stuff that's in here is pretty sweet, but if you like things a little sweeter, no harm in putting some coconut aminos in or some agave if you use agave or some stevia, whatever you use. I'm going to put a, sprinkle a little cinnamon on here. Cinnamon, very good for you. By the way, I never really tell you all the vitamin and all the healthy stuff. Uh, properties of the food I use because I hope you all know I only use food that's healthy. I don't fix anything that isn't healthy for you. Well anyway this is the cereal and it is beautiful and it smells good with the cinnamon in it. Now I'm going to plate it for you. I'm going to make one little plate here of this cereal and um, I wish Mike was behind the camera or else I'd have him eat it. See now this can this can go for three people. That's a really big that's a big portion. I could tell you Mike eats this himself, but and I've got some, you can put blueberries or whatever you want. I'm going to put some fresh um, blackberries on top because, as you all know, I like things to look beautiful. I'm not going to mix these in. I'm just going to put them on top. I think blackberries are delicious. Blueberries, strawberries, any of the berries are great. I want to put in a little bit of banana. Really, you're, you're, you're going to think this is the most delicious breakfast when you fix it. And then I have some lovely almond milk in here, and you can leave that for people to serve themselves, put as much milk they like, or you can, you can um, put the milk in there for them. So I'm going to do this because I want you to see the finished product. That's about the amount of milk I like. A lovely spoon. And voila! breakfast. And it's so easy and it's so delicious, which is things I like, very delicious. And um, again, you can find uh, the first recipe that takes a little longer in my book. And this I will post on my website, youngonrawfood.com, in the recipe section. Mike will take a, picture, a nice picture of it and we'll post a photo and I'll post the recipe and you can go there and see it and get the exact amount of everything. And always be creative with your food. Add some, If you have a taste for something, throw it right into the recipe. These are perfect the way they are, but please add whatever you like in there. And again, thank you all for buying my book. I've been getting some really, really nice reviews, not only from people who bought it, bought it but from you know people who are actually reviewing the book and review the book. So this is very exciting for me. And I think that's all I need to tell you today, although I have so much always to tell you. But be grateful, be happy, be so grateful that you have beautiful food to eat and wonderful friends and companions and Facebook and everything else that you could be grateful for. And I'll see you next week, and I love you very much. 